it goes like this. Collection company comes in, they'll buy the debt for pennies on the dollar. We're gonna foreclose on you, we're gonna take title to the house, we're gonna then sell the house, pay off the first, and keep the profit. Which is a lovely business model for them because it'll cost them 2,000 bucks. Richard Sherman from Alta Realty Group is striving to raise awareness about an alarming rise in what he's calling zombie second mortgages forcing families into foreclosure. What happens is you have to either come up with some sort of you know, very, very large check for these people, and most people don't have the money to do that, or they take your home. The banks always say, well, of course we sent the notice. And my clients always say, I've never heard of this. I don't know who these people are. And now they're saying they're going to take my house. I've never even heard of these people. And the problem is if you go into court with that, you say, look, I was never given notice. You now have to prove a negative, which is impossible. Uh, all the bank has to do is say, yep, we sent it. And I guarantee you the bank will go, here, printed this out this morning. We have it. We sent it. Well, isn't that amazing? You printed out a Word document that has a date on it from, you know, from 2008. That's spectacular. But because there is no signature required, because there is no active method required for the client to acknowledge that they've been given notice, banks get away with this. If you have a second mortgage that you have not been paying, regardless of what you think happened to that mortgage, check. Make sure it is not still a lien against your house. Call us. We can check for you. It's easy enough. Check that what you want to do is check your title. Is the lien still against your property? Because if it is, you have a ticking time bomb and it is just a matter of time before it goes off. Because of Richard's passion and determination to defend his clients, he's earned the nickname Godzilla. We had a deal where I was representing a buyer. They were buying a foreclosed property and I was arguing with the bank and the other agent involved got so frustrated with me that she just said, just go talk to the bank directly. So I got on the phone with the bank directly and I talked to the gal and I said, you know, we had this argument and uh, I don't know, she must have found me entertaining because we were on the phone for many, many hours. I think it was five or six hours and I shut down the office I was in. I, I didn't realize that's what I was doing. I was, you know, 18, 19 years old. So, but after that, the owner of the company came up to me and he said, not knowing about the Godzilla thing, he said, uh, you sort of negotiate the way Godzilla negotiates with Tokyo. And I went, yeah, and I thought that was the greatest compliment ever. I thought that was the greatest thing I'd ever heard. The owner of the company says, I'm this great negotiator, completely missing his point. Yeah, so when people want to negotiate uh, with a bank, when you need to negotiate with a bank, a cute and fuzzy bunny ain't going to get it done. You need Godzilla. And whether it's me or somebody else, I don't know anybody else who does what I do uh, or has the success rates that we have, but you, yeah, you need somebody who's going to roll up their sleeves and get in there, who knows the rules, who knows the laws, uh, and who's able to, sp able to speak with some authority uh, to the people who are telling you everything is up to you and it's all your fault and you owe them money and they're after you and they're after you and after you. At some point, somebody has to step in and say, no, no, you're not. Uh, I've been doing default servicing uh, stuff and foreclosure defense. We, we don't take money from people who can't afford to, to pay it. That's just not right. Uh, and once you start, once you do one foreclosure case for free, you kind of have to do all of them for free. We have had a few where people could afford to pass, even though we were doing foreclosure defense, we still do it for free. So it's just a commitment we made a long time ago. It's a bedrock thing. Um, we do loan modification work. We do uh, foreclosure defense for free, period. For KHTS, I'm Melissa Lampert.